<laughs> you got choked out, bozo. Suck it. Who thought they were going to get another title shot? Who thought they was one win away from a title shot? <laughs> Man, I couldn't be more happier than I am right now. I cannot stop smiling. I cannot contain my joy. Woo! Man, I wanted this. I picked Holly, but thank God my Bueno Silva got rid of that old hag. Oh my Lord, I really wanted this so badly. Okay, because I was pissed about the Aldana fight. And I'm sick of this old lady running the division with her boring ass fights, her boring ass style. Oh, I could not stand Holly Holm no more. And thank the Lord, this girl from the Vivellas comes along and chokes her the F out. Wow. I mean, Myra Bueno Silva is dangerous. I did some research on her, you know, before this fight, and I noticed she does have pretty good striking, you know. And her hands are good, they're fast, powerful, and she's got good calf kicks. She went out there, was patient, used those calf kicks intelligently. Um, I was a little bit worried, though, early on because of, like, the size difference because Myra is a former flyweight. Holly was way bigger. Um, and every time Myra would connect on Holly, Holly would just grab her, hold her against the cage, and be boring. And I'm just watching that, like, oh, my gosh. Are we going to see another boring Holly home performance of her just hugging her opponent against the cage to a boring decision. But nope, round two happens, and here's where it gets good. Holly gets tagged. She gets tagged again. Um, and the same thing happens. She goes in the clinch and tries hugging Myra, but then tries going in deep for a takedown because Holly's fight IQ is so great, right? Said no one ever. And uh, she shoots on a, a killer black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And Myra Bueno Silva gets a hold of that neck and strangles her. Man, I feel so good right now. I couldn't be more happier. And who was the guy who told me Holly was going to be champ by the end of the year? Was that you, Clay Dog Madman? <laughs> Eat your crow. I wish I picked Myra Bueno Silva. Man, we all should have seen this coming because Holly Holm cannot... She cannot put together a win streak. Ever since her undefeated record got snapped, it's been win, it's been three losses in a row, and then win, lose, win, lose, win one, lose two, win, lose, and then she put together her first two fight win streak in 2020 when she beat Raquel and then beat Irene Aldana, and since then it's been back to to lose, win, win, lose. Um, so yeah, I'm glad that cycle repeated itself because we need to get rid of Holly. I wish this could have been Raquel Pennington. But, I mean, she's unfortunately going to fight for the title against Pena, most likely. But, Myra did call for a title shot against Juliana Pena. She wants that fight. And, I mean, she could easily leapfrog Raquel because she just got an exciting finish over a former champion who beat Raquel Pennington twice. The UFC might be more invested in, in, um, in Myra. Who knows? Maybe Myra could get a title shot, and I wouldn't mind... Um, but because Raquel is on the win streak, she might get it. But I'd take a first-round sub over a former champion as opposed to a split decision against an overrated fraud like Kevin Vieira. So, yeah, great win for Meyer. I mean, if she were to fight Pena, I'd be a little bit worried because we've seen Pena get subbed by strikers. And Myra is dangerous on the ground and on the feet as well. But, you know, uh, she did beat Amanda Nunes. I know people think it was a fluke. She did survive the full distance in the second fight. I feel like she could have done okay in the third fight. So based off those things, I think she could handle herself against Myra. But I could also see Myra Bueno Silva um, submitting her as well. Scary fight for Pena. Um, but damn, Myra Bueno Silva is good. What's the next fight if it's not for the title though? Um, I'd say take on the winner of Penny Kianzad versus Catlin Vieira. Winner of that. Um, advances forward to a title shot or Myra might as well just sit and wait for the title shot wait for the winner of uh wait for the winner of Pennington versus Pena because man we just got some excitement in this division we got a new contender some fresh blood oh my lord man I can barely string together a proper sentence because I'm just 
I'm so happy. I've not been this happy about a WMMA title fight since Alexa Grasso choked out Valentina Shevchenko and became the champion. It's been that long. I've been long overdue. And my next form of happiness will be either Grasso winning again against Val or seeing Juliana um, getting the belt back. One of the two things is going to make my year. Praying one of the two things happen. But congratulations, Myra Bueno Silva. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe and good night.